This is The Arcanium, and I am Anna Hudak. The Arcanium is a collection of articles on Ko-Fi about fantasy, both old and new. Books, audio dramas, movies, video games, all of it that falls under the fantasy genre will be discussed. So, I invite you to just sit back and enjoy. Today's reading comes from the Ko-Fi article, Thoughts on Rings of Power, Episodes 5-6. through six. Enjoy. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how much I have to say about Rings of Power for these two episodes. Episode 6 really destroyed my enjoyment of the series. I don't like gore, and that episode was full of it. Remember when the creators promised back in February that this would be a series the family could enjoy? Well, I never expected that it would encompass young families, but how is this something that even older families could enjoy? This is hard R stuff, things I would expect out of Game of Thrones, not something titled Lord of the Rings. Not a fan. Didn't enjoy the episode one bit. It honestly left a bad enough taste in my mouth that I don't know if I want to watch further episodes. I'll probably force myself to finish the season at least. That said, I want to clarify. It's objectively a good episode. It raised the stakes and was a thrill ride from beginning to end. The only thing I think the episode could be knocked for is having the soldiers of Numenor show up to save a day. It was rather ridiculous. Other than that, it was objectively an excellent episode. Anyway, episode 5 was fantastic. A lot happened, and frankly, I'm struggling to remember everything, even with the Wikipedia episode summary up. We see Nori teach the stranger how to speak their language, and he learns that he is good. The other Harfoots don't like him and wants to banish Nori's family, but the stranger saves Nori and one of the women most vocal against him from wolves. So, he is now seemingly accepted by everyone. He goes off to heal himself as he was injured, and Nori finds him. He uses magic to create ice to heal himself, and Nori goes up, gets herself frozen, and blasts it away. She runs scared. Honestly, this scene was pretty dumb. So she sees him creating ice to heal himself. She goes up to touch him and then gets scared of him because she was dumb enough to touch him? She screwed around and found out. This isn't a reason to be scared of him. This is a reason to be upset with yourself for being stupid. The last thing I want to say about the Harfoots part of the episode before we move on is The song that Poppy sang near the beginning of the episode might be the best song in a live-action Middle-Earth adaptation yet. I cannot get enough of it.